Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your reading for October 30th through November 5th. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. Please remember that this may or may not resonate with you as it is for hundreds and thousands of people and I, can, I certainly can't read for everybody um, in a general reading. So um, I have pre-shuffled these cards so if something falls out I'm going to lay it down. Then I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. This is for Sagittarius Sun and Rising signs. And if you want to know why I don't include the Moon sign, you can go ahead and watch my welcome video. And I will zoom this in when I get done. Okay, so the basis of your reading is the Lover's Card. Congratulations, that's a good basis of your reading. That tells me that there's an unexpected choice in love, okay? There's some unexpected love coming your way. That's what that means, okay? So, um, I'm just looking at the rest of the card. Looks like you guys are about to change, take a change of course. Things are starting to change for you. Um... It's after a period of depression or a stalemate, okay, where things weren't happening, all right? It's like things just weren't happening in love, and it just seems like it was never going to happen. And you may have gone through a big period of depression, despair, um, sadness. Maybe you've been feeling pretty negative over this, feeling like love is never going to come. Um, you've probably had some inner conflicts, all right, regarding this, um... And just thinking, you know, this is never going to happen for me. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're feeling like this is never going to happen for me. And I think maybe it, some of you have dug really deep, dug deep into your soul and done some serious soul searching and been like, why me? Why me? Why is this the case? Why, why, why? Okay. I do feel like you're you're yearning for a commitment. Many of you are yearning for a commitment in love. You know, a love commitment where there's unconditional love. And I think that uh, you've been working towards it. Okay, I see that many of you have been working hard. You've been working hard towards finding love, okay? But it just hasn't been happening. It's not like you're just not looking. I think many of you are. I think some truth is going to come out, some some clarity, some kind of truth within you or from somebody else. Some kind of truth is about to come out this week and it is regards to in regards to love. I think that perhaps there's been an interest. Somebody's been interested in you maybe from afar and they may finally tell you that this week. That could be the case or you could meet this person um, this is the week of Halloween. If you go out to any parties, I see like a gathering where you could actually meet somebody. So if you get invited to a party, I think you should go, okay? Because you could certainly meet somebody there. And I want to tell you who we have here. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and we have a Leo. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, that's who we have for players. But I think many of you, you know... I really, you need to release the negative thoughts before you go to the party because I think that you still have these negative thoughts in the back of your head. Try to release them. Release them, okay? Let them go. They're not needed. It's unnecessary. There's no reason to keep them anymore. Acknowledge the depression that you had or the difficult times that you've just been through. Acknowledge them and release that heavy weight. Okay, because it's time for you to, to um, be easy on yourself. It's time for you to surrender to the universe. And I see that because we have the strength card that tells me that you need to surrender. You need to bring your confidence back. You need to bring your inner strength out. You need to have courage. You need to um, shine. All right. But I feel like you've been through a period of depression. So you need to, 
you know, release the depression, release the negativity and bring your self-confidence back, bring your self-worth back, okay? Bring your attractiveness back. And you do that by releasing negativity, okay? Because here, I mean, we have negativity right here on both sides of this strength card. So it tells me that you have a lot of negativity, a lot of negative thoughts going on, okay? You have to release them. And you release them by using your inner strength, by using your self-confidence, by using your self-worth, okay? by And sometimes, you know, you have to really surrender, you just have to surrender to the universe, okay? This is releasing a heaviness, this justice card. is releasing something that no longer serves you, whether it be a person or a thought. And for many of you, I think it's thoughts, because I, with these swords, they, they signify thoughts, okay? You need to release negative thoughts, and you need to do it ASAP, okay? You have the power to do it. You do. This Ace of Swords is the, is the direct power to do it. You do. And once you release them, that's when everything changes. That's when the change, of course, happens. The wheel spins in your favor, and it brings in this, this new unexpected love, okay? I'm going to start shuffling for the next pull. I think many of you have, have been seeking guidance, maybe from above, maybe from a counselor, maybe from your own inner guide. You've been seeking guidance and you're, and you're listening, okay? You're listening to your inner guide. You're listening to whoever is giving you the guidance, okay? I think that you're making progress and I think that you are accepting things as they are, all right? Things are probably coming... Um, coming out um, very strongly, okay? They may be coming out from another person, out of their mouths, from another person, or, they, or you could be speaking very strongly, harshly, um, honestly, okay? It looks like the honest truth is coming out, maybe from a person, could be from you, something you've been waiting for. Now, this is for hundreds and thousands of people, so bits and pieces may resonate with you, and then other bits and pieces may not. I see many of you are waiting for this love and you've been waiting for it for a while. But I think the, one of the reasons why it hasn't showed up yet is because your thoughts become things. And when you're thinking negativity, neg negatively, it halts everything. Okay, but I think that you guys have changed your thoughts. Many of you have. You've you've reached. You've been giving this opportunity to clear away the negativity, and you're using it. Okay, here's that opportunity right here. So anyway, if you're single and you're looking to meet somebody, please go to any gatherings that you're invited to because you can meet this person. All right. Now, this is a love reading. Mm -hmm. All right. So, it does look like new love could be coming in this week. It could. Now, this won't be for every single one of you that watches this. Okay? Because, like I said, you negativity halts the whole thing. It does, it does. So if you continue to let the negative thoughts take over, then then new love's not going to come because the universe feels your negativity and they feel the negative thoughts and that can't that's not fair to another person. Okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So if you really really want this unexpected love to to come in, you need to use this ace of swords down here, this sword to release, to cut out the negative thoughts, okay? You need to refocus. You need to, you need to act with confidence. You need to act with um, courage. You need to vibrate on a high level, okay? You need to be very passionate. You need to be determined to not be negative. You need to be proud of who you are. You need to make yourself attractive, okay? You do. That's how, when you make yourself attractive, you vibrate higher immediately. Immediate, because you feel better about yourself. Okay? So, if you've been in a slump, 
you need to come out of it first so that this new love can come in. And you do that by loving yourself, okay? I see that you guys, many of you have this insecurity. You know, you're insecure with who you are. You, you, might, not, you might think you're not good enough right here you are good enough you are good enough it does not really matter what you look like you can make yourself attractive instantly by releasing negative thoughts because you will generate you will you you will generate positive energies okay when you think negatively it's in your body language Okay, so the minute you release the negativity, you let it go, acknowledge it and let it go, I'm going to be positive, your whole tone, your whole uh, persona, how people see you changes. Okay, so that's why this card is here and this is you. You have the ability to be very vibrant. You have the ability to shine. You have the ability to um draw in anybody you do should you choose to allow yourself to be beautiful and to not let any negativity weigh you down none none you're only self-deceiving you're deceiving yourself you're deceiving yourself by letting negative thoughts take over i there's a lot of negative thinking here there is and it's making you feel insecure. You need to release them. You have the power to do it. And I can tell you right now that if you do, there's passion ahead this week. A lot of it. Even, you know, there could be a new sexual partner this week. No kidding. But it will not happen if you are thinking negative. Okay? It won't. When you think negative, it brings your attractiveness down instantly. Okay, but for many of you who aren't thinking negative, because some of you aren't, new love is coming. New love is coming in. If you are coupled, there could be a resurgence in a relationship that happens very, very quickly. Very quickly. Is and I'm telling you what, this 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 new love that I'm talking about is going to happen quick. Quick, quick, quick. There's gonna be an instant attraction. And it could be sexual, okay, with love. I mean, night, 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 three nights. I mean, things are happening this week. I'm telling you what, things are happening. Quickly, it's going to be exciting. It could be sexual, and it could involve love. And it could be very unexpected and knock you right off your feet. Okay, should you not bring any negative tendencies with you? Because if you continue to hold those, don't expect this to happen. Okay, it takes hard work to release negative thoughts, to let go of insecurities. It really takes hard work to let go of negative thoughts, to end a negative cycle. It's not easy. It's not, but it takes a lot of work, all right? But I see many of you are taking action this week, and it looks like a very passionate, fiery, loving week, should you choose to not deceive yourself with negativity. That negativity has been blocking love from coming in. This is also a blockage. And I just see so much negativity. They've, this is a blockage. It's been blocking the, your love from coming because of your negative thinking, your insecurities, your self-confidence, your self-worth. Bring that shit back. You have the power. Bring your courage back. Bring your beauty back. This is for man or woman. You all have it. Big time. Bring that fiery personality back. That fiery, charming, passionate, magnetic personality back. And it will be attractive. Somebody is going to be very attracted to it, should you do that. 
Oh boy, here's one of your angel cards. It is absolutely time. And I'm starting to get the goosebumps. Now I'm going to get you a Archangel Michael card. And I am going to read it. Ooh. Beautiful. The first card is time to go. The sun sets and rises each day, and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life, and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning, and we are with you through each phase and cycle. And many of you are starting a new cycle. Explore your options, my prayer. Dear God, thank you for your wisdom and love, helping me see, understand, and assess all of my alternative options. Please guide me in the best direction for my health, happiness, and life's purpose. Ask your angels for help. They want to help you release the negative. They want you to be loved. They do. Ask for their help. Let go of anything that no longer serves you. And let this unexpected new love come in. But I have to remind you, if you are carrying around the negativity, it's not going to happen. It's time to bring your vibrancy back. And you can't do that carrying this heavy load of negative thoughts with you. Okay, this is a heavy load. No doubt. It is. Okay. It's time to cut that shit out. Cut it right out of your life. Don't bring it with you. If you're going to a gathering or you meet somebody, uh-uh. It cannot come with you. The... The universe, God's angels, whoever it is that you honor, they aren't going to let somebody come into your life if you are negative because it's not fair to the other person. There's a chance for new love to come in. Very exciting. Could come in quick. Quick, quick, quick. It's all up to you and, and, and what you carry around. So this is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I will uh, talk to you next week.